Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you a quick tip on the camera settings and just briefly go over the primary settings here. Alright, so uh, I like to put the camera in manual. Uh, for this one I'm using a Nikon D7100. It's just one of the cameras that I just decided to plug in. And so with the camera mode and, and manual, this gives me a better, a better way to adjust the camera settings and it's not very hard. It's um, it's going to be very basic on what we're going to do. Uh, the aperture. Aperture is basically the depth of film. So anything higher than 5.6, you start to get the more in focused, but the images do become darker. So from what, I, what I've noticed over the years, 11, 11 or 13 seems to be good. I like to use 11, so I'm going to put it at 11. And so now with the high aperture, the images will be dark, but they will be in focus. So let's say you have the backdrop about five to six feet away from the photo booth, then anything within those those that distance, uh, they will be in, in focus. So if a person's like coming up close to the photo booth or they go away, then they'll be in focus and you don't have to worry about that. So that's the reason for putting it at such a high number. And so now, uh, with the shutter speed, I like to put it at 1 over 80. Anything lower than 1 over 80, you start to get the motion blur. And this is how long the uh, the camera lens uh, takes to, to take a picture. So if you go any higher, then the pictures, you, stu you start to lose um, some light that comes into the camera because it's taking the picture a lot faster. So 1 over 80 is, is my number to go to for... Uh, so these are going to be indoor settings here. So I got 1 over 80, I have aperture 11, and I got the ISO at 800. I feel like 800 is a good number to start off with. And so if you have the 800, 1 over 80, and the aperture at 11, these are very good settings to start off with, kind of like a rule of thumb for indoor settings. Okay, so if you're going to, let's say, do an outdoor setting or an outdoor event, uh, what you can do is you can leave the aperture alone. So we're going to want to uh, darken the images because of the bright sunlight outside. And so now the shutter speed, I'm going to bring that to 1 over 160. And then the ISO to 400. Okay, so we have, all we basically did was just reduce this number down and then double this number. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's literally all I've done for either outdoor event or indoor event. So again, if you have an indoor event, I put this at 1 over 80 and this at 800. And so with the ISO, uh, the higher the number on the ISO that you go, the overall image will brighter will be. So the brighter the image will be brighter, but uh, to counterbalance that, we have a very high aperture at 11. So I hope this, this helps uh, make sense and, you know, make things a lot more simplified for those that don't really know much about photography. You can just use these two rule of thumbs. So again, I'll go over it. The shutter speed, 1 over 80 and 800 for indoor events. And then 1 over 160 and 400 for outdoor events. So this is for regular photo booths. All right, so let's say you're doing a mirror booth. If you're using the program for mirror booths, uh, what I like to do is I like to put the aperture more at, let's say, 5.6 or 6.3 because people are going to be standing a little bit more closer. So, you know, let's, depending on how you have the flash set up, if you have the flash set up with an umbrella, then these two numbers are going to be your go-to. But let's say you have the flash pointing at people uh, with the maybe a diffuser in front of the flash. So then you can go back up to either 9, 10, or 11. And then the same settings apply for uh, mirror boost. So you can use this one at 1 over 80, and then the ISO at 800 or... Uh, maybe as high as uh, 12, 1250 or 16. But these are like overall your your go-to settings for 
any type of uh, photo booth setup. All right, so I hope this helps and I'll see you guys in the next video.